It has a smell, it has a sound, it has a rhythm. Wood and metal and paper and ink. I don't know if it awakens something that is there already. To see the wheel spinning and pistons going back and forth. And the second you touch it, you usually know that there's something unique about it. I got goosebumps right now just thinking about that first experience I had of this beautiful type. There's a beauty that the word letterpress is precisely that, pressing letters into paper. But on a bigger picture, it's so much more. Letterpress printing really brought us out of the dark ages. It empowered the common man, really. The joy is in the having, but the joy is also in the hunt. Initially, I didn't think there'd be any out there. But look what I've got now. <laughs> Almost 40 years later, I have over 2,000 fonts of handset type. If it has to do with letterpress, I probably have it. Whether that's worth $20, I don't know. I'm going to keep it going as long as I can. When I kick the bucket, there's going to be a glut of letterpress printing equipment on the market. <laughs> the new generation is fascinated with obsolete technology. And here's letterpress, you betcha. I was intrigued because it meant I got to get my hands a little dirtier. It was so different than sitting behind my computer, which is where I learned graphic design. They're giving us a wealth of knowledge to share. Uh -huh. Oh, look okay. at that, chromatic. These machines don't do well collecting dust. They like to be used. It was made in 1886, and it's still running like a pickle seeder. That's not something that you want to haul to the dump and dump over the hill. And I warn people, it's a disease. You get really interested in this, and it gets out of hand. <laughs> they, need a, they need a proofreader. Or a printer that can spell. <laughs> <laughs>